Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will solve a transportation problem by Northwest Corner method, Matrix Minimum method and Vogel's Approximation method and I will also compare the results. So this is a transportation problem, this is called the cost matrix and these cell values are called the cost or transportation cost. We have three origins O1, O2 and O3 and three destinations D1, D2 and D3. So if we transport one unit of goods from origin 1 to destination 1, our cost of transportation is 10 units. That may be 10 rupees or 10 dollars. But if we transport one unit of goods from origin 1 to destination 3, our cost of transportation reduces to 3. So our objective is to allocate goods from 3 origins O1, O2 and O3 to 3 destinations D1, D2, D3 in such a manner so that our total transportation cost is minimum. And these values are called the demand values and these values are called the supply values. That means in destination 1 the total demand is of 5 units of goods. In destination 2 the total demand is of 8 units of goods. Similarly in origin 1 total supply is of 6 units of goods. In origin 2 total supply is of 7 units of goods. So this was the basic. Now solve it using the northwest corner method. As you may know in map the upside is called the north downside south, right side east and left side west. So by that method this corner side is called the northwest side. Similarly if we consider this cell as center then this cell will be the north cell, south cell, east cell, west cell and this cell will be the northwest cell. And we will do our first allocation from here and from this the name northwest corner method comes. So for this cell the demand is 5, supply is 6. So we will take the minimum value which is 5 and we will allocate here. It will become 0, it will become 1. Since we have one unallocated value, so we will go this side. So for this cell, the demand is 8, supply is 1. Take the minimum value, 1 and allocate. It will become 7, it will become 0. Next, we have unallocated value here, we will go downward. So for this cell, demand 7, supply 7, next for this cell, both the demands and supply are 8. So take the minimum value or same value in this case. Since all of our demands are fulfilled and supplies are exhausted, our allocation is complete. We will now find the allocation cost. So for this cell, we have allocated 5 units of goods at the cost of 10 per unit. So for this cell our total allocation cost is 5 into 10 50. So let's find out the total cost 5 into 10 50 plus 5 plus 42 plus 16 which is equals to 55, 57, 97, 103, 113. Next, solve it using matrix minimum method and as the name suggests, we will scan the whole matrix and find out the minimum value and we will allocate to that first. So the 2 is the minimum value and we will allocate here and for this cell, the demand is 8, supply is 8. Next volatile element is 3 but we have 3 3's here, 1 at here, 1 at here and 1 at here. So in this case, we will consider the minimum allocation cost. That means if we allocate here, we can allocate minimum of 6 and 8 which is 6. So for allocating 6, our transportation cost will become 6 into 3, 18. And if we allocate here, we can allocate minimum of 8 and 8 which is 8 and transportation cost is 8 into 3, 24. And for this cell, we can allocate minimum of 5 and 7 which is 5 and transportation cost is 5 into 3, 15. So the cost is 15 for this cell, 24 for this cell and 18 for this cell. So 15 is minimum, so we will go with this cell. Again for this question, we can't allocate to this location because the demand is 0. We can't allocate to this location because the supply is 0. So we are left with this cell only. But the process is to find out the minimum allocation cost and allocate to that. So we will allocate minimum of 5 and 7, 5 here. It's 0, it's 2. 
The next smallest element is 5. Demand is 8, supply is 6. Take the minimum value is 0, exhausted, 2. It's also exhausted, it's also exhausted. So the next smallest element is 6. Since all our demands are fulfilled and supplies are exhausted, our allocation is complete. We will find out the allocation cost, which is 30 plus 15 plus 12 plus 16, which is 45, 47, 57, 63, 73. And next, we will solve it by Vogel separation method, method or BAM. It's a little tricky method. For that, scan each row and each column for the smallest element and the next smallest element and subtract the smallest element from the next smallest element and write the value in outside bracket. So for row 1, smallest element is 3 and next smallest element is 5. Subtract 3 from 5 and write the value in outside bracket. Do the same for row 2 also. 3 subtracted from 6 is 3. Column 1, same process, 3 subtracted from 7. And then scan for the largest value among these bracket values. So here, the largest value is 4, which lies in column 1. So we will do our allocation in column 1. But at which cell? will allocate to the smallest element cell. So here in column 1 the smallest element is 3 will you allocate here. And for this cell the demand is 5 supplies 7. Take the minimum value and allocate. 0 is 2. Since column 1 is exhausted it will not be continued in our next table. In next table we will only continue with column 2 and column 3. So that will become It's now reduced to 2. Again same process. 3 separated from 5 is 2. And here the largest value is 3 which is in row 2. And the smallest value in row 2 is 6. We will allocate here. So for this cell, demand 8, supply 2. We can allocate the smallest value which is 2. It's 0, exhausted and it's 6. Since row 2 is exhausted, we won't continue row 2 in next table. We'll continue with only row 1 and row 2. So that will become this is row 1 and this is row 3. And rest of the allocation is simple. Again same process. So we have two largest values, 2 and 2 here. Again we will look for the minimum allocation cost. If we allocate at this location, cost of allocation is 18 and if we allocate at this location cost of allocation is also 18. So we can proceed with any cell. Let's say we will allocate at this location 0, 2. So this column is exhausted. We will continue with this second column. Smallest number is 2 and for this cell demand date supply 2. Allocate 2 here. 0 exhausted and this is 6 and we have only one element left in this column so we will allocate 6 at this position 0 it is 0 
and now we'll put all our scattered allocation in this final allocation table so we allocated one five at this location one two at this location one six at this location one two at this location and one six at this location let's check whether our allocation is correct or not 6 equals to 6 ok 5 plus 2 7 ok 6 plus 2 8 ok and column wise 5 ok 2 plus 6 8 ok 6 plus 2 8 ok so next we will find out the allocation cost which is given by 18 plus 15 plus 12 plus 18 plus 4 which is equals to 33, 35 plus 10, 45 plus 18, 63 plus 4, 67. So by Northwest corner method, our total cost was 113, which was the maximum cost. Next, we reduced it to 73 by matrix minimum method. And finally, we have reduced it to 67 only by Vogel's approximation method. So we can say, VAM is the most accurate method. Next accurate method is matrix minimum method and the least accurate method is northwest corner method. So friends this was my comparison video of the three techniques to solve transportation problem. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like this video please like it and please subscribe to my youtube channel. By subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. Whenever I upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe. And please share this video among your friends and family on your Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and YouTube accounts. By sharing the knowledge, you may help someone else. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And stay connected by subscribing.